What's up, everybody, and welcome to your next C++ SFML 2.0 tutorial. So this is the code that we had uh, from our last tutorial, and what we're going to do is just expand upon it uh, just a bit, just to make it a, a bit cooler. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, so we're just going to add on to this code right now. So what we're going to do is just make a Boolean called done, and we'll just call it false. And we're going to loop uh, while done is equal to false. So um, remember that mode variable that we created last tutorial? So now we're going to make use to it. Use for it. So if we set the mode, we're going to set the mode to S for send. And when the mode is equal to R, it means um, we sent, that means it's sending. And then when we set to R, it means it's receiving. So for um, the server is going to be able to send a message first, and then the client will be able will re be receiving first. Once the client receives a message, uh, then it will switch the mode to send so it can send a message back, and so on and so forth. Now this isn't the most efficient texting system in that. Um, uh, you can't send multiple things over and over, but it's just just a little program to show um, some of the capabilities of what what this can do. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say if mode is equal to s, and we'll have an else if mode is equal to r, and yeah. So if it is equal to s, then we're gonna say uh, we'll say std get line. And we'll say sin and uh, we'll put in the text in there okay uh, so we're gonna get the get the text and when we get the text now we're gonna want to send the text over to the next server so we're gonna say uh, socket dot send and uh, what we're gonna do is just send the text like we do before like we did before so we'll say text dot C underscore string and we'll say text dot length plus one Okay, so we sent that, and then we're going to set our mode equal to R. Now, why will the... Now, now what we're going to do now is we're just going to say... Now, what if I did socket.receive, and uh, I put in the buffer, and I put size of the buffer, and I put received. And then I said mode equals... Or then I displayed it to the screen, and I said buffer... And and you know what? I'll put received, and then I put in the buffer, and I put mode s. Why would this not work? Uh, you can think about it for a second, but the reason why this is not effective is that what's going to happen is that even if we're not done sending it's going to say that uh it's going to receive something and then it's going to type out some blank or some weird text or something and it's going to switch the mode to send mode right and but we don't want to switch to send mode unless the server ser the server is going to be on send mode first right so we don't want to switch the client to send mode until the server actually sends something right and uh, so what we're going to do is remember I said when received will let us know the amount of bytes that we actually received. Well, we're going to use this to our advantage. So we're going to say if received is greater than zero, then we do this. We display it to the screen and we switch the mode. So what it's going to keep on doing is going to keep on trying to receive something from the sockets or, or receive something from the server. If it doesn't receive anything, then the value of received is going to be equal to zero or less than zero. If it actually has some data, then the value should be greater than zero. And that means we, we, will, we will receive that data. We should display it and we should change the mode. So let's run this just to see uh, how this is going to work. And uh, what I'm gonna do is open this. So I'm gonna set this to the server, set this to the client. So it says connected to the servers, connect uh, to the client. So I already said something for received, but uh, don't worry about that. So now we're just gonna type in a message. So I'm gonna say this is coding made easy. Click enter. 
if we go here, it says received. This is coding made easy. So I sent that to the client and the client received it. So now it's the client's turn to write it. Um, this is so awesome. And we click enter and it says received. This is so awesome. So uh, you can work like you can make it more advanced to make like a chat system in your game or do whatever you need to do or, um, with something like that. And a cool thing too is that um, if you want to ex just expand, you can expand your mind with this. So for example, if you're making a two player game, you could send the player's X position or the player's Y position or the player's position on the map um, to the client and then modify it on the client side based on the player's position and so on and so forth. But I will be teaching you how to do those stuff when we uh, get into like packets and, and all that stuff. But and all that good stuff but that's it for this tutorial um i hope you had fun with this i hope you used it to the best of your knowledge so that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and bye for now